finally, a monthly setup that I like and that I can live with. Hey guys, Julia here. Welcome or welcome back to another video. Today we are going to walk through and take a look at how my March monthly setup came together in my paper test designs B6 planner. Yes, this is a pre-printed planner, but I go full on bullet journal style in here. So kind of merging those two worlds. And this setup, very few supplies were used. And since I've moved into this paper test designs planner, monthly setup times are way more reasonable. And I definitely want to do an upcoming video talking about what it's been like to continue my bullet journal practice inside of a pre-printed planner. So definitely subscribe if that sounds like something that you would be interested in. But today let's talk about the March setup. So the theme this month is a little more traditional than what I typically do. I usually like going outside of the box a little bit, but with March, I can't help but to think about St. Patty days past in Savannah where I used to live before I moved out west and a particular poster that I designed for the festivities down there. And if you didn't know, Savannah is very huge on St. Patrick's Day, like maybe at least in the top five. I know Boston's in there, but Savannah has a huge St. Patty's party. And so I was there for six years straight, but also like another two or three years as well. So had lots of fun for St. Patty's and Really not before or after has St. Patrick's Day been a big deal. So I just thought it'd be fun to take a poster that I designed as light inspiration for the theme this month. All the spreads that I'm going to show you can be done with one pen and I'll show you that before going in with any color. But also pretty interesting, all the color is with fountain pen ink and I'll have all the supplies linked down below. But I wanted to try this out painting with fountain pen ink and I found that it was like less fuss overall but still gave me that watercolor gouache look and bonus points. I got some glitter in there with some of the shimmer inks that I used. So the quote is, we didn't realize we were making memories. We just knew we were having fun, which is kind of the spirit of St. Patrick's Day, at least in Savannah. So I thought that was just a good quote for the inspiration for the theme. And the main kind of lettering that you'll see throughout is not really inspired by font, but actually a specimen image. And so it's not really the font itself that I'm taking inspiration from. So whenever you go to buy fonts or download them, you'll see like these images where the type designer is just showcasing different ways you can use the font and just showing all the letter forms and the numbers and just designing really cute images to get you to buy said font or download the font. And so I took inspiration from this particular specimen image. I'll try to either pop it up on the screen here or I'll have it linked down below if you're curious. But yeah, overall, I really just like how simplistic this looks and how it has some movement, not only in the lettering, but just the way the doodles are falling down the page. The next spread is the monthly calendar. Again, another attempt here at simple. I think I was a little more successful this time. And then this month, I'm going to try to put all the dates in one color so that I'm not overwhelmed by a lot going on in one particular month. And this month is gonna be a little hectic Anyway, so I wanna reduce at least the visual clutter by just using one pen or at least one ink color for the monthly calendar spread. And so for the doodles, I just use the same doodles from the cover page and then just have them going down the side. The clovers are so cute and so easy to doodle. The way I've done it throughout is just doing a heart shape and then going around so all the heart shapes kind of meet 
in the center. And then I just do a stem on some of them on either side or no stem at all, like here. And the fact that they're little heart shapes, I think is a fun little subtle tie-in from last month, which was this like UFO spilling hearts all over the place. And so maybe the hearts fell down and then they created little clovers for March. And then for the section here for these date headlines, I did use fountain pen ink to color these in. And so you can see a little bit of those shading properties here that just have that watercolor vibe to me. Flipping over this next page is a media tracking section as well as a spring clean section. So for this top with tracking media, I will be writing down any movies that we're watching and any series that we're continuing or starting up here. And it's really funny that throughout the months I've started to develop this separate key for if a series is continuing from the month before or if we stopped watching it completely because we're just like DNF, whatever. But it's really funny that I may have to make a key in the back of this planner just for the series, but that's been really fun to keep track of. We recently finished True Detective Night Country, which was pretty good. We started Star Wars Bad Batch season, ooh, season three. And I think that's the only series that we're like neck deep in. We are also watching Northern Exposure over lunch. And so I do include our lunch TV shows here as well, but we'll absolutely take your recommendations for TV series. Nothing that's too high commitment, please. And then here is a truncated spring clean section from what I typically do because this spring clean that we try to do every year usually spans over a few months. So I didn't wanna do the full on typical spread here and then forget about it when April comes or when May comes. So I will be adding just a few tasks that we wanna get done down here. We do have a pretty small house so decluttering and getting out things that aren't bringing us joy and that we aren't using is super important for us to do every year. And then this next page is going to be where I'm gonna be doing my focus check-in for the different categories for my yearly focus that I set up at the beginning of the year. Last month I did have a habit log and I liked it okay, but I wasn't too successful with it. So I'm just widening it up a bit for the just focus check-in. So if anything develops that's related to my yearly focuses or my yearly goals, I will write that in here. And then I just thought it would be a super fun place to swatch the inks that I've been using to color in everything. So this is kind of like a little color palette section and I just thought it was like a really cute decorative element as well. Okay, and then this spread is the first weekly spread. It's very little initial setup, which I love. And so far I've been using this section as a place to put in any events, meetings, and birthdays that are happening throughout the week here. And then sort of a master task list of all the things that would be nice to get accomplished. I just kind of dump those here and then I just bring these tasks over to the daily sections. And so I don't have any of the daily sections set up except for the first day Monday. And so with these, I have been implementing some really useful ways to make sure that I keep this up. So you'll notice that the doodles are smaller and more simplified. So there's only like one color and I'm just like dap, 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 just because I wanna keep it simple so I can duplicate those elements throughout the week and not feel super burdened by them. And then on the daily pages themselves, I'm adding in task lists, Sometimes I write a little blurb about milestones. I've done whole pages on movie thoughts and sometimes I even put photos in here. So the daily pages have been really fun to not only have my task lists, but also 
bring a little bit of what's going on during the day in my planner. So I've been really liking that and it feels really fresh. Whether I'm flipping a page or not, or just starting on the next page, every day feels like a fresh start, and I really appreciate that, and I've been having lots of fun with the flexibility of this. Okay, let's flip through all of the initial spreads for this month's setup. I'm very excited about feeling confident about the setup. It doesn't feel as chaotic as the previous ones, and maybe that has to do with it being monochromatic, maybe. But March does have a lot of appointments, meetings mixed with some work travel. I have some fun collaboration videos upcoming, but let me know what you guys have going on for March. I thank you so much for watching. I've been super appreciating all the nice kind words in the comments. It really means a lot. But if this isn't your vibe and you wanna see more March setups, I'll put one of my favorite ones here for you to check out and I will catch you all in the next one.